right, I am overdue for an oil change on the generator. I'm gonna finish editing a video first. And at the same time I'm going to check the oil on the on the uh, main propulsion system here. is down to about 10 minutes 10 15 minutes Jenny oil changed RV topped off
Beautiful day today. Leg row, open road. All right. Let's go right down the hours. I need to go get the hours. All right, 1514. 1,514 hours. I went over 234 hours? 234 hours. I thought I'd just changed this. Not that long ago. Maybe it's only been 34 hours and I changed it too early. That oil smelt pretty burnt though. 234 hours. I don't think I used it that much. Anyway, it's recorded. I'm keeping a little uh, maintenance log. I've got my RV oil change, Predator oil change. I'll write the big generator down in there too. I'm gonna keep this in with my, my manual. My manuals. Got a manual drawer. Been organizing things. My junk drawer is now turned into more of a um, products for the RV drawer. It's got oils in it. It's got some re replacement bulbs for the RV. It's got a uh, other replacement things. Uh, sticky mat, light bulbs, filters for my uh, air compressor that's in that's for the air suspension. I got my original gas cap for the Predator just in case I ever want to pull it back out and use it as a portable again. Uh, yeah, so that's like RV stuff and supplies and then all my manuals. There's so many manuals. Um, yeah, that's I love organizing this. Slowly every day something little bit of something gets organized or shifted or put somewhere it just feels a whole lot better and then in the process also find things i can pull aside and bring to the storage unit uh, i store winter clothes here at some point clear up my closet just all my hoodies just kind of sit on the bottom rv oil change coming up sun's gone away must be must have some clouds going by today. Hmm, maybe I did go over because I used it during the snowstorm, and that was like three days straight or four days straight, three nights. Yeah, I did go over. Whoops. Beautiful day today. Super cold though. Got down to 31 degrees last night. I'm at like a quarter tank, I think, or half tank. There's like nobody here today.
All right, so looks like I need to take off today, get some gasoline, which works out because I need parts for the next project. today is go with some parts, get some bolts, some nuts, some lock washers, caulk gun, quad. Uh, I, need some more. I didn't really do a good job of grocery shopping. So, I need to head back to town. I need to get some gas really bad too. Some gasoline. So I can keep my generator going. Now it's getting busy. 11 o'clock in the AM. So, into town and then back to a spot where I can work. It only needs full choke for just the first split second. Gas and supplies. Pace Arrow, that's a newer one. in there 17.2 gallons in that propane tank ran it completely out 55 bucks boy I'm uh, gonna skip on the diesel so if I run out of diesel the diesel heater I'll just switch to propane um, propane is on cook Emergency heat. Or it's, it's kind of my primary heater. Uh, diesel heater. 
it comes out when it gets super cold and when I get low on, if I have enough propane, I'll use the It's really expensive, so I'm just thinking I'm gonna start using the diesel heater a little more. Gasoline, 55 of propane, skipped on diesel, got food, got water, all my totes are filled up, 21 gallons ready to go. Uh, yeah, let's get back, get ready to start working on some projects. Stay tuned, we've got projects coming up.